Hey everybody, let's go through the previews now. I'm going to get to Image, but this is the front of the book for August. I love these things. Look at that cool, cool cover. Star Trek, The Mirror War, My DW. That's going to be nice. I like Star Trek. I picked up some older Star Trek books and some of the newer stuff, but look at how different everybody looks and everything. Oh, he's got to put the scar, the scar on the face. We have the woman scantily clad. And then, look, he's got a mean face. In the guard. With the beard. Cool. So let's open this up and see what we got in here. We got Hellboy here. Read off some of this stuff when I get to the actual books. Then we got Vampirella. The final, it's the final issue this of the series. She get married or something to Dracula? Coca-Cola and comics. Name a better duel. Oh. Different. I like Coca-Cola. I like Pepsi. Let's mix it up a little bit. Now, this is the book. Just there's, there's so much information in there. If you want to like look through these, you can look through them all. This looks like interesting. Since this is a offshoot of something's killing the children, I'm gonna make sure I get this one. House of Slaughter. I can't miss it. So I'm gonna see what it's about. And I haven't read any of the um, what's it? Something is killing the children. I haven't read any of it, so I'm not sure what it's about. Hopefully, I can pick up something or trade or hardcover so I can read it. But here's Venom coming out. You know that from the uh, Marvel previews I've gone through already. Some more stuff. Gunslinger Spawn looks interesting, so we're going to get to that. We'll see that. Halo, look at that. Master Chief. Cool. More covers. Purgatory. More covers, wild stuff. 33 years and nearly 400 issues later, it says. Wow. On January, on July 16th, what am I saying? January. I celebrated my 33rd anniversary with Diamond Comic Distributors, Incorporated. And the reason I'm here, my beloved previews catalog. Wow. So. There's more stuff at, um auctions and stuff like that what people pay for that's different harbinger more stuff interviews they do like i said they do a lot of different things in these books these are cool more auctions ultimate fallout spider-man no more signed by stan lee there's amazing spider-man wow i love to just hold one in the hand my hand just to um see that fill that book that'd be cool stuff like that's cool superman number one action comics number one one with batman in it and everything just wow more stuff here and if you want to use this you can somebody whoever uses it first previews digital code you can pause it and write it down september 30th is the last time to use it so all right Let's see what else we got in here. Jennifer Blood. Very cool cover. Now we got Goodfellas meets the Punisher in this exciting new series. Cool covers. More stuff here. Now we got some stuff about Gunslinger Spawn. From out of the past, the Gunslinger Spawn doles out his unholy justice. All right. Uh, enter the House of Slaughter in James Tinian's Tinian The Force new series from Boom Studios. See more stuff. They just get into detail about a lot of this. Very cool. Star Trek. Marvel Meow. Life is Strange. Interviews and stuff. So let's just get to the image stuff. More free comic book day. Gold sponsors. Hmm. Here's, that's cool. This I like to get this one because I know this is sometimes these are different stories. Like I said, I did that with um Spider Man. They had Amazing Spider Man with Ryan Otley did that one. They did a free comic book day one, and they had book number one. So I'm gonna make sure I get these. Usually book number one is pretty good, and it's um, goes up in value. Lady Mechanica too. I love that. This one, End of the House of Slaughter. I like to get that one too. 
but I'm not sure if I'll be able to. We'll see. Maybe I'll get them at half price books. If not, maybe I can get them online or something. But they don't give them away for free. I think Midtown Comics might have some. More stuff here. A lot more. Wow. A lot of free comic books. Okay, now we're going into image here. Cool. All right, let's see. First one is Friday, book one. The first day of Christmas trade. Gym of the month, it says. And Brubaker. Cool. Marcos Martin. He was doing art with, um, he was drawing Spider-Man for, that's cool. November 3rd, advanced solicit. Collects Friday, one through three. Hmm. Collected in print for the first time, a young adult detective hero finally grows up in the first volume of this genre-defined post-YA masterpiece from award-winning creators Ed Brubaker, Marcos Martin. Friday Fitz, Fitzhugh spent her childhood solving crimes and digging up occult secrets with her best friend Lancelot Jones, the smartest boy in the world. But that was the past. Now she's in college, starting a new life on her own. Or so she thought. When Friday comes home for the holidays, she's immediately pulled back into Lance's orbit and finds that something very strange and dangerous is happening in their little England, little New England town. This is literally the Christmas vacation from hell, and they may not survive to see the new year. Wow. Okay. Here's some of the artwork from it. See, I like stuff like this. I don't know if I can get the the single issues or not. I have to look into it. But collected stuff is good too because I can do flip throughs to it. Well, here's more artwork here. Looks cold the way they color it looks cold out there. And there's somebody over here. What is it? I thought I saw someone in the trees watching us. Hmm. Now this looks interesting. He's probably one of the most interesting ones I've seen that's of the spawns. Gunslinger spawn number one. So, this comes out October 6th. Introducing the launch of the second new monthly title spinning out of the Spawn universe with one of the most popular characters in the entire Spawn mythology. This book contains three separate Gunslinger stories, each taking a look at his journey through time from the Wild Wild West to the 21st century. With his... Will his 200-year-old past come back to haunt him as he navigates the strange world of 2021? Get ready for the past and the present to collide in this new ongoing title. All right. Like I said, I had my own reasons. Okay. There's another spawn back there. I'm sure you did. I need to know why. What drew you to that island? Because as far as I know, you're new to this entire planet. So why that place? Okay, now they're going, talking and talking. He's riding a motorcycle now. Cool. That's going to be interesting. Get some more stuff here. Wow. Nice artwork. Brett Booth, I think it says. As Gunslinger gets to this town's edge, he reminds himself, himself as he continues to push his bike that he never had to do this with any horse.
So let's see what they're going to be doing with this. Just, he's just following these people. Okay, now we got Hell Cop number one. There's a variant cover, or the main cover there. They got variants down here. Spawns on one of them. And there's a black and white version, or a sketch cover, as they'll call it that. So it's series premiere. Welcome to Hell. When mankind first broke, first broke through the walls between dimensions, nothing could have prepared them for what they would find in known reality plane 1301-A. It was absolute hell, literally. A covert secret security force was qu quickly assembled to patrol the hell plane and ensure that none of the nastier denizens made their way earthside. They were dubbed the Pan-Dimensional Security Corps, the Hell Cops. Now we got Hell Cop number one, Halloween 3D Special. Ooh, that's cool. Pumpkinhead. I remember that movie. No, that's $7.99, wow. Celebrate the holiday with a 3D version of Hell Cop number one including an exclusive Halloween-themed cover and a lovely rendered full-color 3D interior comes bagged with 3D glasses. That might be something to pick up. You see where they go with this, everything like that. I'm not sure if they, if they actually want to break the dimension walls from here to known reality plane 1301-A. Wow, that'd be pretty scary. I would like to maybe break a wall going to heaven, but to hell, woo, that'd be scary. Okay, now what we got here? The Magic Order 2, number one of six. Magic Order. Then we got variant covers down here. Okay, what do we got going on? October 22nd, series premiere. A magical turf war like you've never seen before. The London chapter of the Magic Order has entered the scene, and these tough guy Richie style gangsters have a problem with the Eastern European warlocks moving into their territory. Can new leader Cordelia Moonstone keep the peace? Celebrate Halloween with the return of your favorite horror series sequel to the smash hit first volume by Mark Miller and Oliver, Oliver Copiel. This new arc is drawn by the peerless Stuart Eymanen and is set to be as massive and captivating as the first. We got some artwork here. Wow. Deadly stuff. Mature oriented, you can see. They blocked out stuff on it, but it's mature. So, this one's pretty sick looking. Ooh. Nita Howe's Nightmare Blog, number one. Kind of like a venom thing. He's swallowing some type of twig while he's spitting it out. That's weird. Okay, now we got October 20th is coming out. Series premiere. The Fire Next Time. Part 1. From the universe of Eisner-nominated series Philadelphia comes a terrifying new tie-in horror series by acclaimed Marvel writer Rodney Barnes and fan-favorite Spawn artist Jason Sean Alexander. Jimmy Sangster might have left Maryland for the vampire-infested city of Philadelphia, but there is still untold evil lurking the streets of Baltimore. The demon Corson has surfaced from the underworld to possess a once-wronged man and his vengeance will come at the cost of humanity's despair. But Jimmy's former lover, Nita Hawes, a woman with demons of her own, has begun a quest to root the evil out of her city. Guided by the ghost of her dead brother, she must come to terms with her own past, lest she join her brother in a state worse than death. Wow. So much stuff coming on. They just make this stuff up. It's like, wow. The supernatural vibes of Lovecraft Country pair with the universe-building mentality 
of The Conjuring to create a horror thriller perfect for fans of Philadelphia. Now we got some stuff here. Baltimore, Maryland. Nice art. Ooh, scary. Wow, look at that sick thing. Some scary stuff. Okay, now we got The Righteous Thirst for Vengeance, number one. Rick Remender, I like his writing. I might have to pick this one up. Let's see what this is about. This is a series premiere, October 13th. Okay, there's a cover there. Cool. A new ongoing crime series from the writer of Deadly Class. When an unassuming man stumbles upon a dark web, contract assassin's vicious plot to kill an innocent target, he turns himself into one. The professional meets Road to Perdition in the story of a family's unlikely guardian being hunted by rich and powerful men who are used to getting away with everything. Man, join New York Times bestselling writer Rick Remender and Andre Arujo for a uniquely atmospheric murder mystery with sudden bouts of brutal violence. The professional meets road to perdition in this hard-hitting, action-packed crime series. That looks interesting. This might be one I'd pick up because I like Rick Remender's writing. Okay, the artwork here. I don't know if this would be in America or, let's see, it say where it was going to be, I just read that, but it didn't say where it was going to be, hmm, looks interesting though, but this would be in, let me see, I'm thinking, I see English here. What if this would be like in New York or something like that, or would this be in China or Japan? Okay, I'll have to check that out. Two Moons. I got the first couple issues of this one, but I'm not sure if I didn't read it yet. Look, it's on number six already. Here's a variant here, or the main cover. That's a cool cover. Wow. And it, is, it looks like a variant right here. That's cool, too. Now we got Ghost War, and this comes out October 27th. A new story arc, Ghost War Part 1. After years apart, Francis Shaw, now a medical doctor, and Virgil Two Moons, now a Pawnee shaman, are once again drawn to each other on the, on the eve of an impending crisis. Okay. Yeah, when an, when an impending crisis comes on, woof. Now what do we got here? Talking Dead Deluxe. I'm behind on picking these up. I have to get like 19 and 20 and stuff like that. This is on 24 right now. This one's here. We are ta we are the walking dead, it says. And we got some, uh, the other covers, cover B and cover C. Okay, this one comes out October 6th. And the Walking Dead Deluxe hits its one year anniversary. Something has happened to drive Rick over the edge and there's no turning back now. This deluxe presentation in stunning full color also features another installment of Cutting Room Floor and Creator Commentary. Now here's number 25 of The Walking Dead Deluxe. That comes out October 20th. There's your David Finch cover. Wow, I always get the Finch covers. Well, I like the other ones too, but I can't get them all. Cover B and cover C. That's pretty wild. I like those. I like cover C. Walk and see somebody. Imagine what you see, what they're coming up on. But all the detail David puts in that cover. Wow. Okay, this one, like I said, October 20th. Rick and Glenn venture outside the prison. And what they find will change this, this series forever. Okay. Now we got the Essential Guide to Comic Book Lettering. These books are very cool. Let me see. 
This comes out the 20th of October, 256 pages. Okay, here's the cover right here. This doomsday device is fully charged and pointed right at Earth. Wow. Let me see, um, eight and a half by 10 and eight 75th inches. Okay. Award-winning comic book letterer and founder of Blambot.com, Nate Picos, provides in-depth tips and techniques for modern digital comic book lettering. From creating your own lettering templates and developing des design skills to crafting emotive dialogue and dynamic sound effects, Picos offers a comprehensive look at what it means to build a lettering career in the comics industry today. Featuring a Ford by famed X-Men letterer Tom Orzakowski. Cool. Chapter 5. Balloons. That's cool. Radio Balloon Tales. Just different stuff how to do it. That's cool. Thinking dynamically. You know, they do the different F sound effects after Batum. And cool. Looks like a Batman 1960s show on that page. Bam, smash, pow. Or kapow. Now we got fine print volume one. I'll skip over here. I don't want to have wanted to be family friendly. It's a little different. This is more adult too. So you see, I don't want to show that. You saw it already a little bit, but this comes out October twenty seventh, and it's drama, fantasy, and romance. How do you deal with a broken heart, junk food, excessive drinking, dubious contracts with ancient gods? For Lauren Thomas, the queen of bad decisions, the answer is always the worst possible choice. So when she finds herself with a rare opportunity to have her broken heart patched by the highest rated god of desire, what could possibly go wrong? A tale of gods, mortals, love, lust, death, and bad decisions. That all starts with a simple bite of a golden apple. Okay. You saw the artwork. Let's go to the next page there. Mom, Mother of Madness hardcover. This comes out October or December 8th. And let me see that other book come out October 27th. So just so you know, if you want to get that. This looked really different. I didn't pick this up. This looked weird. But I, I don't know what it's about, though. Like I said, you, you miss stuff like this. And like I said, it looks weird. Like something is killing the Trojan. I missed out on that one. But who knows what this one's going to do. So you never know. December 8th on this one. Advanced solicit. Mom, mother's... Mother of Madness 1 through 3. Game of Thrones superstar Amelia Clark's debut. The mayhem begins with Maya, under the weather scientist by day, over the top superhero by night, and bad but uh, single mom 24 7. Deadpool action and flea bag comedy collides with Maya when Maya activates her freakish superpowers to take on a secret sect of human traffickers. Bath times at 7, bedtimes at 8, and crime fighting never sleeps. When villains from Maya, Maya's shadowy past come to collect. Comedy and chaos await with co-writer Margaret Bennett and glamorous artist Leela Lees. The feminist forward wit of Maneaters paired with the artistic aesthetic of Joel Jones and Jamie S. Rich's Lady Killer. All right, now we got Outcast by Kirkman and Asacita Compendium Trade Paperback. November 3rd. Wow. 1,000 pages. Advanced solicit. Wow. I wonder what happened to the TV show. On that, on, was it on HBO? Collects Outcast by Kirkman in the S. Aza Sita 1 through 48. This massive volume collects the complete best selling horror series from The Walking Dead creator Robert Kirkman. Kyle Barnes has been plagued by demonic possession all his life, and now he needs answers. Unfortunately, what he uncovers along the way could bring about the end of life on Earth as we know it. Wow. I had the first few issues of this. I didn't pick, I didn't keep collecting it, though. Now we got Paper Girls, the complete story trade paperback. 
this was a pretty good story. Certain things in it I didn't like too much, but um, it was a really good story. Uh, October 27th, 784 pages, 50 bucks. Wow. Collects Paper Girls 1 through 30. Yeah, it was a 30 issue series. Finally, the entire Eisner Award winning epic in one complete volume featuring a new cover from co creator Cliff Ching. Four 12 year old newspaper delivery girls from the year 1988 uncover the most important story of all time. Suburban drama and otherworldly mysteries collide in this critically acclaimed series about nostalgia, first jobs, and the last days of childhood. Wow, it was a good story how it jumped around and everything. Saga box set. Look at that. All those books in there. Nine of them. Okay. November 17th. 1,524 pages. Wow. 125 bucks. Complete Saga Volume 1 through 9 trade paperback with a set of 6x9 cover prints exclusive to the box set. Hmm. Hey, retailer friends, Brian K. Vaughn here, interrupting your regularly scheduled solicitation to say thank you for your underlying or undying patience while Fiona Staples and I have been hard at work on the second half of Hazel's epic journey. We promise that exciting news is coming, and we wanted to offer your customers a cool way to catch up on our Eisner Award-winning series, this gorgeous box set, collecting all nine of our best-selling trade paperback collections in one affordable package. We think it's the perfect way to introduce any mature readers who haven't yet tried Saga to our weirdly wonderful universe. Thanks again, and we look forward to gracing your stands with more issues very soon. Well, I have the first few issues, so I'm glad I bought it. Going to, I'm not sure if they're ever going to do a movie or anything from it. This would be a cool movie, this one. Paper Girls. This would, this would be interesting, but I don't know how they... they shop these things out or say hey or submit them to somewhere and have a pitch party with somebody and say hey i got a movie idea so but i'm sure they get connections doing all these different conventions and everything you never know who's going to be there if you meet some people there you plan stuff it'd be cool to see some of this stuff in movies summoner's war volume one trade it's a cool cover This one's October 27th. Summoner's War Legacy 1 through 6. Skybound. I mean, what does that say? October. Yeah, okay. Skybound dives into the wondrous world of New Summoner's War, the popular mobile game where magical monsters are summoned in a never ending battle of good versus evil. Rai knows there's only one way out of her nothing town to become a summoner. But when she's recruited by Albus, Albus Dean as an apprentice, she embarks on the adventure of a lifetime and is thrust into a war for the fate of the world. Journey to Aaliyah, aside Justin Jordan and newcomer Luca Claretti for an action-packed fantasy perfect for new readers. All right, now we got, this will be the last one I show. Time Before Time, Volume 1, trade paperback. The first few issues of this are really good. I like this. They're trying to get out of trouble, and wow, they got people chasing them. Everything um, going through time. October 20th, this one comes out. Time before time, 1 through 5. Okay. Collects time before time, 1 through 5. 2140. To escape a world with no future, many turn to the Syndicate, a criminal organization that, for the right price, will smuggle you back in time to the promise of a better yesterday. Tetsuo, a syndicate smuggler, wants to leave his life of crime behind, but when an FBI agent disrupts his escape plan, they both find themselves hunted across time by his former employers. A mix of saga and looper, time before time, is a sci-fi crime tale that proves that once that one thing you can never escape is your past. Wow. It is very good. Like I said, you wonder about going to the past and changing things or going to the future. or I, Mostly, like I said, it goes to the past. So, but imagine what year would you go back to and everything and would you see yourself? I don't know. But uh, this is this was a very interesting story. I think I got, I think there's three issues out right now. 
I'm going to have to check and see because I got them. I have to read the latest one, but the first two were very good. But thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think. Um, there's so many books coming out and everything. I, I, I like what I see, different stuff coming out. So I'm interested in some of the books, not all of them. But uh, let me know what you think. You guys have a great day, and Collector Dude is out.